Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Keep Your Hands Off Link's Awakening. <laughs> what? what? Pause menu. You're probably wondering how I got here. Oh, you got him. <laughs> he flipped. Okay, um, can we actually... Sorry, but I actually want to talk about the fact that the uh, that the Sonic movie started with a... Yup, that's me. You're probably yeah. wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It, it, all it needed was a record scratch. Yeah. <laughs> When Evan told me about that before, like, because we both sat down in the theater or whatever, and uh, he, like, told me, he's like, this is how the movie starts. I was why thinking... Wait, wait, why? Why? Why didn't you just let him watch it? Well, because he told me, and I, I like the lore. I'm a lore fiend, as you know. So. I, I felt like since it was at the very beginning, it was harmless. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh... All oh, right, hey, since we're in the Angler Dungeon, you guys are ready to hear Angler Facts. I'm not even asking if you are, because I know for a fact that you're ready to hear some Angler Facts. So, did you know that male anglerfish are very fucking small? And do you know how male anglerfish and female anglerfish procreate? How? The male angler... Kamikaze. Well, the male anglerfish will act as a parasite and stick to the bottom of a female anglerfish. Oh yeah, I knew that. Basically injected with uh, his nut, and then uh, then baby anglerfish happen. Do you want to know also a super fucking cool fact about anglerfish that's also super cool? What? So you know what? how snakes can unhinge their jaws, yeah? Yes. Anglerfish can do that, but even more so because not only do they unhinge their jaws, anglerfish are able to unhinge. They're basically their ribs as well, so Whoa. they can consume prey God. that is not only two times larger than them, but up to three times larger than themselves. Oh my gosh! And would you like to know my last angler? I'm ready. Angler I'm ready. fish are not the only undersea fish that have um. Oh shit! What's it called? It starts with a ph, and the root word is phosphorus. But basically, the little light right on them. Yeah. Uh, there's also another fish type called the viper fish, which has it underneath its jaw. Oh. So you're saying it's a snake? Your... It's like a well, beard. Kind of. It's a really long eel looking fish. But yeah, those are your angler facts. What what I want to know, the, the main fact I'm interested in is why you started doing angler facts. Because we're in the angler dungeon, baby. Oh, a photo I get four. It. Yes, sir. I get it. Did Apparently, you know that there's an angler boss in Kirby? What's his name? Uh, Sweet Stuff. Is that actually his name? Yes. That's amazing. Only appears in Dreamland 2 and Dreamland 3, and, uh, well, it didn't appear in the actual series itself. It appeared in the, uh, in the not-released-in-the-U.S. pilot episode of Kirby right back at you. Oh, fish. So, okay, wait, that begs the question. Did we get the rest of the show with a missing pilot? Or, like, what did they the do? The pilot was, like, more of a prototype kind of thing. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. First episode was the one with the giant fire octopus, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that, that that's the actual first episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your boy knows this Kirby right back at you, Lord. Kind of. That it's such a funny sound when that heavy ass fucking the heavy ass stone dropped in the water. Kirby right back at you. The only four kids dub that people actively like, and it's exclusively because of DDD. <laughs> You know? I also like Meta Knight being <laughs> portrayed as Spanish. I really like that a lot. Spanish? Yeah. No, he's his. He sounds. <laughs> they basically made him Zoro. If that's <laughs> if okay. That yeah. It's, but he's not played like, by Antonio Banderas. <laughs> he is not played by Antonio Banderas. No. He's played by Brock. Yes. And Kaiba. And Pegasus. And Pegasus. Yes. And what James. And James, yep. Speaking of the James, I'm gonna go to the gym after this, I think. Late night gym do gym run. Nice. Oh, I get it because gym is... J ah, hey, Carrie, you know what? I really like that. That's a good one. Evan started it. <laughs> Evan really? Started it. I did yeah. start it. You see, my brother started going to the gym and I just decided to casually say it. Uh, but the thing is, I feel like if I didn't say it, Will would have said it one of these days. Probably. <laughs> my mom says it now. <laughs> she says, hey, Carrie, I'm going to the James. <laughs> Apparently, I've started something. Good job, Evan. I'll give I you two claps mom. for that, so all right? Great. Wow, two whole claps. There Usually I don't take more three. than half a clap. <laughs> Would you rather have... <laughs> Would you rather have two claps or just one clap, also known as the clap? The clap. 
The clap. So you're saying you'd rather things. have the clap, Evan? That's dangerous. I wouldn't rather have the clap. You never know. Yeah, you should reconsider that. We feel hard. I think five claps is a good number so good. for conveying congratulations. That sounds like yeah. That sounds like that sounds like something that Carrie would do specifically. Five claps. Yeah. Five is a nice number. It's an odd number, which I like odd numbers. Also, that's how many fingers you have on one hand. Unless and it's, you have one less or one more. But it's like also in kind of an even odd numbers number have a direct at the same center time. To Not them. in the sense that you can divide it evenly by two, but in the sense that it's half of ten, and our counting system is by the power of ten, so or by the base ten. So, um, pardon so my inability to speak properly. Yeah, but odd numbers have like a direct center in them. That's true. Yeah. Well, five, you can arrange like a square with a dot in the middle, so four corners plus a center. That's true, and the median of five is three. Hmm. That's true. Because you go one, two, three, or five, four, three. Look it is. We I also like, the, the number like three. to pretend that we're smart. <laughs> no. God, I, I swear we can't. Pretend, I, can't. I, I, I swear. We can't go a single playthrough without having a tangent where we sound smarter than we actually are. <laughs> yeah, please, please not mistake this for intelligence because boy oh boy. I just, I just know occasional big words, but do tend to misuse them. <laughs> I did not walk in graduation. I can't do lean, math. lean into that. You should, you should every four episodes just lean into having uh, Gabe talk about Shakespeare. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> to be fair, it's usually Will who starts those conversations, but he's not here. Yeah. His brain doesn't work anymore because he's, he's in dead. the afterlife. Right. We'll miss him. Honestly, rip, rip Will. Yeah. God. He got it. He's taking too soon. Right. Peanut butter. I told him not to walk in front of that bus, but you know he had AirPods in. He wanted to go. To, oh, no. he, wanted, he wanted to go to a different world, you know. So more power to him. I suppose those are trucks, but any large moving vehicle which hits you on the road that you don't notice until the last second when it kills you, mm -hmm. uh, will transport you to another world. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean truck coon? Yeah. Well, except for that one girl. That one girl just got resurrected as a zombie. Yeah. What a great show. My favorite part was when we found out that the driver was actually Jorno. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What a bastard. Excellent, but... Jorno. All anime girls must be destroyed. Is there anywhere you want to go while you're in while you're in Italy? McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video so much. <laughs> Just the way Dio delivers that McDonald's. Hey, uh, Evan, do you know what game was a fun demo that I played? What a weird sentence, but ignore that. Please. Anyway. <laughs> do you know what game was a <laughs> fun demo it. that I played? Let's <laughs> just roll with it. Game demo that I played, which was very fun. What? The Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon DX demo. Oh, yeah, that's the coming out. I haven't played it's any the... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's okay, Evan. I'm going to tell you how cool that game is. It's really cool. Wow, that was very descriptive. It's really well so descriptive. I am convinced. Evan, let me play Mystery Dungeon for the series. I'll play Fire Emblem and Mystery Dungeon. That's it. That's Definitely. it. God no, that's damn it, Gabe. That's that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> Mystery Dungeon, Fire Emblem, maybe F Zero. If I feel like tearing my hair out. Okay, then... so what are you doing here? It's just like you're. Oh, trying you're to trying to chest. jump over the deep end. Evan's trying to drown. There's a lot of, of him trying to jump over things in this playthrough. Listen, listen, listen. This is the, one of the only Zelda games that lets you jump. They, there's no way it would have been perfect. But hey, I made it and I got 50 rupees for it. Very, yeah, nice. very nice. Very nice. You says very nice. You're talking like you the fucking the guy from uh, Phantom Menace. Uh, oh, Watto. <laughs> you know, I'm Toy Darien. Mind tricks don't work on me. Only money. <laughs> God, Watto is such a fucking. You know what? I feel like I, I I could see Wario saying that, just like I'm a Toy Darien. Mind tricks don't work on me. Only money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Tiny coins. It reminds me of, um, 
back when Club Nintendo was still a thing and there was like a server error when you tried to like uh, redeem your coins and it would always say like, oh, don't worry, your coins are safe with Wario. And like, Nintendo, that's the last person I'd trust with my coins. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy, what a bastard. The smoothest bastard around. Holy shit, that guy is fucking stabbed you through the wall. But you can stabbed also stab him through the wall, assuming he's... See? That's true. And that guy over there is just having a fucking blast ricocheting <laughs> off the wall. Fuck you! And now he's dead. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to enjoy your blast anymore. Your Baja Blast. I... Mom. <laughs> beat me to it. Evan's I like think quick that... draw McGraw with jokes. Man. I know, he is, and I think of these jokes sometimes, but I have to think, wait, how can I deliver this without sounding lame? And then by that time, someone else has delivered the joke. Oh, see, Carrie, you Carrie with a joke like that, joke I feel like you just need to say the word. Say the word, please. Say the line, Bart. <laughs> Eat my shorts. Whoa. That wasn't the line, at least from that specific episode, but... <laughs> There he is. Spiky Joe. <sighs> it's yep. the owl from Winnie the Pooh. That's what I'm calling him. That's a nice name. <sighs> it, uh, it, 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 like, it, it, it makes it clear, like, uh, like what his features are, but at the same time, like, you know, it also gives him a sense of humanity. <laughs> yeah, which you take away by flipping him over and stabbing him. Yeah. Listen, listen, uh, I, 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 I. I make characters, but I'm not a nice person. Okay, I'm probably gonna try to go for that chest, but I cannot do that yet. <laughs> I believe in you. Just jump. No, I like I I. It's not possible at the moment. No, you can't. Hmm. Oh wait. Yeah, see, you totally got it right. Now. Oh. Can you get maybe. a flotation device? The game doesn't want you to do it. There we go. Oh. Okay. There you go. Flotation device. Yes. Yeah, in this shield, in this dungeon specifically, uh, you get the <laughs> you get the flippers later on. Well, you still need some buoyancy, even if you're trying to use your sword as a row. Oh, that's true. I'm gonna hold your breath. Row. Yeah, you yeah, get the yeah. flippers, which allow Link to swim. swim. Okay. Swim. 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 My I name know. is Genome <laughs> Soldier, <laughs> and I like to spin, <laughs> spin. <laughs> ah, I love it. What a guy. Oh my god. Uh, the other He's day so I watched this Smash Bros. video uh, with Gabe where uh, they put that quote over, uh, I think it was Toon Link specifically, his uh, up special, yeah. where he spins. Spam! Yeah. He was one time asked at a con, he was doing a panel out or whatever, he was like, what's your favorite accent you do? And probably with like, Less than like a third of a second of airtime, he just was like, "Spoon!" Just directly. Okay. <laughs> Gabe, 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 I want to make something very, <laughs> very, very second. clear, okay? What's very? Oh Vinny isn't human. What is oh, no. that? This, this is a revelation. It's just Vinny is then not human. The, then who is at the panel? Oh, no, no, that was Vinny. I'm just saying he's not human. Oh, gotcha. So he's an alien. That's what you're saying. I guess. Nobody knows what he is. Alien. Yeah. Alien. Alan. Alan. Who's Alan? <laughs> he is Alan. He's your dash attack. I like how I just, like, went back to kill that guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on, finish with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. You do it for the thrill. Melt creeper. It's all across the ground. Wait, I don't remember. I don't. I can't remember what it was that I was referencing. Like. Mega Man X8. That is not what I was referencing. That is what I was. Uh, hang on, hang on, because like I think I, I think I. All more skullmen. Get him. More skull cultists. Skull fists. Whoa! I'm so, I'm so smart. <laughs> you just killed a movie that popped out. Rest in peace. Yeah. There were a couple red ones earlier. There were. They break into small ones. There's some broken ass pots. Are you just trying to find rupees inside them or something? Yes. 
Or he's throwing a hissy fit, who knows. You know, I wouldn't blame him. Sometimes they just need to go into an underground dungeon that's thousands of years old but has well-maintained pots. Pick them up and mm -hmm. smash them against the wall. Oh, you know? fucking yeah. that's right. He's okay. Mad he can't swim. <laughs> so, um... And lit torch. What I was referencing was Sonic Adventure 2. <sighs> like, Sonic says that right before using Sonic Win when you're fighting against him in, uh... In Final Rush, yeah. Yeah, in the, in the boss fight, he's all like, I'm not done with you yet, Sonic Wind! Yeah, he cuts himself off. He cuts himself it's off twice in that fight. I'll use your Chaos Control! Yeah, Shadow cuts himself off too. Okay, okay, but with Shadow, it still yeah. sounds somewhat natural, because he says, this is the ultimate... You know, it's still like, yeah. cutting it off at this is the ultimate still has some degree of naturalness. Yeah. Um... Like, I, I didn't hear the full line until years later, but, you know, it's like, This is the ultimate power! I'll use your technique! Chaos yeah. Control! Yeah. What a good game. It's a pretty good game. I mean, it's aged horribly, but... Oh, absolutely. It hasn't aged as badly as Sonic Adventure 1, and I say that as someone who likes as Adventure 1 more. <laughs> yeah, that, that game is, uh... That's some. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, commentary on those games coming one of these days. And I, I say that unironically because... Uh, Whoa. Is that a large water beetle? Okay, this boss fight is way easier than I'm going to make it look. Is that a... What the fuck is that? Water beetle? Water Which one would you... Would we be starting with, with Evan? If we did those games? Uh, Adventure 1 because it came out first. Yo, numerics? Big fat. You were just kind of getting fucking white by this man. He is. Just... Yeah, you know, it's because I don't. I didn't realize what I was supposed to do, but this fight's actually really, really, really easy. He's just running the floor with you. He's like taking you and he's using you as a sponge to my mop up. Yeah, all the water in the room. Skin. Nolan, 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 to make it clear, uh, we've, uh, we've, we have done a bunch of Sonic games up to this point. We've done the Genesis games, the, uh, Game Gear games, uh, Knuckles Chaotix and Mania. Game reviews. Damn, you guys have done a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna play, I wanna play Sonic, I wanna play Sonic Adventure, of course, but what I really wanna play is Sonic Heroes. Because I've actually actually replayed Adventure 2 multiple times, but I have not played Sonic Heroes okay. since I was like 10. Sonic I really Heroes. want to see that game again. Sonic Heroes is one of those games that is like, it's very flawed, but I'm it's one of those games I'm able to like regardless of it. Like, like you know, a lot of people complain about going through Team Chaotix with, uh, with uh, like, in that game, but I, I, I find a lot of enjoyment out of it. Detective. It's probably just because they're I find their dialogue humorous, though. Also, Vector is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> He's Vector skin. So, hang on. I, I I can't remember what this guy is actually. Um, he seems like a water beetle, or like maybe I, like a mite kind of, because he has a like beetle. a beetle. Yeah. Like a beetle or a mite, or not a mite, a uh, uh, a tick. Because he has like a large back that's full of blood, right. full of water, actually. Have okay, you okay, 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 okay. This guy's name is Hydrosaur. Okay, is he a dinosaur? Is he a dinosaur? Um. I don't believe it. If he's oh. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to send a picture uh, of what it looks like in the remake. Someone makes something a dinosaur, specifically. He's a octopus? What? I think like he's an octopus. what makes something a dinosaur? He looks like an octopus, but he also just looks like a generic, like, cephalopod? I don't know. Prior, uh, prior to the remake, um, all American versions of, uh, Link's Awakening referred to it as Q-Ball. Q-Ball? He does look like a ball. So that's, that's big facts also. Does anybody here know what specifically classifies the dinosaur as a dinosaur? Is it when it was born, plus it being a mammal? Uh, I think... Wait, a mammal? Carrie! <laughs> oh, wait, another lizard, sorry. <laughs> so, dinosaur is specifically sorry. means terrible lizard. I'd like to keep that in I mind. I knew that. I have no idea why I said mammal. Probably because whenever we do commentary, I am so freaking exhausted because it's the end of the day. Oh, yeah, and it's like, a, it's, like, it's like a Tuesday, too. It's not even the end of a Saturday or anything. 
Wait, what does that have to do with anything? It's oh, just, like, you know, like, it's the end of a Saturday, you've not had to, to, to do your weekday. Oh, duty. yeah. As opposed to, yeah. like, Gosh, we're so busy at work. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot about commentary again, but that's why I have a reminder in my phone. <laughs> oh, this is off topic, but when we were discussing what kind of creature the uh, boss was, uh, and I ref mentioned that it looked like Tick, have any of you seen the video where there's like a blood gorge tick and someone takes a needle and injects hydrogen peroxide inside of it? No. And it like explodes? It's fucking cool. It explodes? Well, kind of. Like the hydrogen peroxide in the blood obviously like is a reaction and like the the it uh, it's weird. Like it basically bloats and like <laughs> look at that guy. Oh, he tried to smash you, dude. It looks like he's just, like, happy to be there, you know? Yeah, he's he like, looks like a wood stove. Like, look at his face, like, <laughs> I, I went I down. You, man. I was so close. I went <laughs> down. Yeah, I saw it disappointed that he missed you or anything. Oh, now he looks a little startled. Like, no, I got him, I got him. He's like, I smashed him. Oh, I got him again. <laughs> he just keeps getting smashed out. Oh, no, I got him. Oh, no, no, he's gone. Oh, no, he's gone. Yeah, just kidding. He <laughs> lacks object permanence. <laughs> he does. <laughs> um, he, yeah. he is so freaking cute. He is. He's. He's mine he's now. Of him. He's just trying to do his job, which is smash. Oh. Bye. You used me to get up there? What? Yeah. Dude, I wouldn't do that to you, man. That's not cool, man. That's really not cool. You got a key. Oh, oh hey, look who it is. Oh, okay. I'm not good enough for you, huh? <laughs> I guess he doesn't exist it. anymore because he doesn't have object permanence. That's, that's true. There's a heart. Speaking of heart, uh, they made that one song, Barracuda. That's a yeah. very specific reference you made. It is. And I don't know where it came from, I'm gonna be honest, Evan. It just kind of popped in my head. <laughs> this knowledge I wish to share with the world who probably already knows that. Unless they don't, in which case, you're welcome. Just like the angler facts in the beginning of the video. You're angler welcome. facts. Angler facts. Baby. I love those, thank you for those. Oh, hey, yeah. I got the 50 rupees. Very nice. Very nice. That's what I yeah. said. That's what the game yeah. said, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what we as a society say whenever we see something very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I tend to say, wow, that's cool. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool. So I'm a little bit of a rebel. <laughs> that's all. You know how society treats rebels, Gary. Probably pretty, pretty respectfully, I'd assume. Look at that guy. All right, bye. Uh oh, platform time, gamers. Link, you're not the Mario. <laughs> oh, the key's in the water. Oh, nice. I got it. I got the key. That's nice. <laughs> you did. Bye. Ooh. Bye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs> <laughs> so, night. compilation knows all of Evan's missing jumps. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, somebody else is gonna need to make that, uh, but, uh... I'm not! I don't have time! Carrie, you also don't have... You don't... You also haven't made a video before. No, I have! I made a video in my German class. I made two, actually. Two ten-minute-long movies that were both utterly ridiculous, but completely hilarious. What were they about? Uh, this fairy called the Beer Fairy. The Beer nice. Fairy. Gives you beer. Yo, hand me my and then you get time, smashed boys. and you do crazy things. Hell yeah. Including burying dead bodies in your backyard and other oh. people finding it. Is that like one of those German humor things where Americans don't find it funny, but it's hilarious? No, no, I think, I think, I think, I think it's Carrie. It's one of those Carrie humor things. <laughs> oh, I wish humor. I still had the videos. I think, um,. Something happened to them when my computer crashed years ago because they were really funny. I mean, I still, I still have my uh, my high school lit and film class project. That is, uh, with for all intents and purposes, the best worst thing I've ever made. Yeah. So in my 
to oh, put it into detail, it's first. unlisted now just because I don't really want to, like, draw much attention to it just from, like, randos and whatnot. But, uh... Yeah. So... Again, another very specific reference. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> so... Right, 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 right. I just remember that Nolan wasn't going to my school anymore at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I only went to school with you for a little while. That late a bit, Yeah. No, no, no. So, elementary school, middle school, and a high school. Uh, uh -huh. All of those are examples of uh, Nolan being at the same school with me only part of the time. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, I moved, I moved all the time. Oh, okay, so get ready for the easiest boss in the game. It made it even easier by the fact that I have a piece of power at the moment, which doubles my attack. It's an angry He's already now. dead! <laughs> Evan, I heard that. <laughs> Give us another okay. That was an angler fish. It was, that's why I whispered angler facts at the beginning of the play. Um, oh! So... That'd be great. That That's boss is cool. so easy that the remake went out of the way to make it a little harder. I don't remember what it did exactly, but it made it it put it added more substance to the fight. Probably didn't make him a big bitch. That was a harp. Good job. Play me a tune. I will play you a tune with the surf right. harp. Let's hear it, baby. Ooh. Only sixteen notes. Jesus fucking Christ. Link is like really just like. He's tearing it up, you kidding me? Holy shit. Imagine tearing it up on a harp. Dog. Cool. Don't don't let harpsichords tear you, dog. They'll, those fuckers. Harpsichords are, are different. Dude, harpsichords are very different. Stop. <laughs> harp players are wild, dude. There was this girl, her name was Madeline. She played harp in my school. And uh, she was like, hey, Gabe, do you want to hear me play Flight of the Bumblebees on the harp? And I said, <laughs> no. and I said not really. <laughs> She's like, great, watch. <laughs> It was my lunch period. I don't know why. Uh, like this, this joke would honestly probably be funnier in 2007, but still, yeah. it's funny. Uh, hey, Gabe, watch me, huh. uh, watch me play through the fire and flames on this harp. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Smash Team Games, we play through the fire and flames on a harp. Yes, with a gu guitar, guitar hero. Yes. <laughs> Guitar hero. Guitar hero. Guitar hero.